Abby. Who's that? This is Dr. Bombay, an old friend. I'm quite well, but Valkyrie isn't. Oh, poor Valkyrie. Is she going to be okay? Certainly, Mr. Hemlock. These shots I gave her earlier will help greatly. Oh, where am I? Oh, hello, Valkyrie. Uh, who are you? I am Dr. Bombay. Doctor? Yes, Valkyrie. You had a panic attack, that's all. A panic attack? It seemed a lot more serious than a panic attack, Dad. All right, fine, Valkyrie. If you want to know the truth, then I'll tell you. Go on. I think the blood drive incident set you off. You got so angry that you started transforming into a werewolf. What? Okay, there, I told you. What the heck do you mean? A werewolf? Luckily, Dr. Bombay here was able to reverse it. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Wait, you say that she's... What? Then that means you're a werewolf? <gasps> no. Valkyrie, Ivy, I'm a vampire. Oh. I knew it. And your mother was a werewolf. A two-in-one package deal, eh, Mr. Hamlock? Certainly. Are you feeling better, Valkyrie? Yes, a lot better. In that case, you all can go home. Finally. Trinity. Hello, Mr. Hemlock. What are you doing here? I noticed Valkyrie's absence, you see. So I... Oh, there she is. Trinity? Greetings, Valkyrie. Um, if I may ask, why the heck are you here? I had a panic attack, that's all. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Ugh. Come on, you three. Let's go home. Hmm. Yes, Valkyrie. Since we're half vampire, half werewolf, how did it happen? Ah, uh, one of my favorite stories. Story? Do tell, Mr. Hemlock. Very well. It all started about 300 years ago. No offense, Dad. But you are freaking old! Not really for vampire years. Once upon a time. I, Drake Hemlock, was born and raised in the Hemlock clan. Life was terrible. I was stuck in an arranged marriage with Veronica, a member of my clan that I despised. And not to mention the feud between my clan and the werewolf pack. The rules were simple. If a werewolf crosses into our territory, kill on sight. But one night, I broke the rules. While I was hunting, I spotted a she-wolf crossing our boundary. But this wasn't just any she-wolf. She was the pack leader's daughter. And as fate would have it, I fell in love. Wait, no! I don't know who you are, but I think I love you. You're so beautiful. Get off of me, you freak! <laughs> Stupid vampire. Don't try to deny it. If I may ask, what is your name? 
moon. Gorgeous. Uh, thanks. After that, we became good friends. But as time wore on, we became more than just friends. Before we knew it, Moon was expecting pups. I then realized that the small pups would not fit in, and our secret would be discovered. With the help of Moon's friend, three beautiful little pups were born. Oh, how adorable! But as fate would have it, Veronica found out. We had a few close calls with the pups. It was then that we decided that we must run away or be eventually figured out. The plan was simple. Rose would bring the babies to a small grove where Moon and I were waiting and we would all run away where we could live in peace and raise the children. But the destiny had other plans. <laughs> My dearest Moon died that night. We're not alone. Drake! Veronica! You killed Moon with a silver bullet! You cheated on me, Drake! I want you to suffer. Drake, run! I grabbed two of my pups and ran, leaving Moon, the third pup, and Rose behind forever. I'll get you, Drake! Are you satisfied now? Dad, I had no idea. So our real mother is dead? Yes. I wonder what she looked like. Do you humans realize what this means? What, Trinity? You're very special. Yeah, I'm so lucky. Being a blood-sucking, meat-eating creature is great! Not to mention the powers. Oh great, we have superpowers too? I guess that's how you could say it. Sweet. I'll go answer the door. Hey, Draven. Please, step inside. Hello, Draven. Hey, Draven. Hey. What's up? I am having a birthday party. Happy birthday, Draven. It's not today. My birthday is October 13th. All right, I can't wait. My Aunt Harley is taking me to Coco's, and she said that I could bring a couple friends along. Mm, I love Coco's. Yeah, we'll totally be there, Draven. Awesome. I'll see you guys then. Such a nice girl. Hey, Dad. What is it, Valkyrie? Could we go shopping? Ah, for Draven's present. Ooh, I like that idea. Of course, girls. Only if you're back in time for dinner. Thanks, Dad. Come on, let's go. Indeed, Valkyrie. For I, Trinity White, will get her the best birthday present that she has ever gotten in her whole life. Haha, <laughs> good luck with that. Bring it. You're so on, Trinity. Trinity, meet the mall. Yeah, I know, right? Check out these fab glasses. Miss Freya comes to the mall? What the? Is she? Oh my gosh. What? She's going into Victoria's Secret. I'm scarred for life. What's Victoria's secret? You don't want to know, Trinity. It's one of those things that you should always keep a secret. Curses. I'll figure your secret out someday, Victoria. Come on, you two. We don't have all day. Let's get shopping. Excuse me! Ow! 
<laughs> That's what you get, Phoebe! <laughs> For flirting with my wrinkly guy. Oh, brother, Trinity. We are so boyfriend and girlfriend. See? Uh, no, we're not. You're just jealous, Phoebe. What? Jealous of you two? <laughs> no way! <laughs> hey, what do you want, Earth Boy? I knew it! You like me! Ho oh, ho ho! You wish! Trinity! Come on, we're leaving! Trinity, did you get anything for Draven? Nothing in this mall is worthy of Draven. So I've decided to make something for Draven myself. Sounds cool. Totally. Okay, let's go. <laughs> what a baby. Wow, that was so much fun, you guys. Ha <laughs> ha, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, come on, we're almost home. <laughs> Dang it, missed! Trinity! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Who did this? What? <gasps> Trinity, you're alive! Not for long! Run if you want to live! <gasps> uh huh? Where did they go? Well, hello, Master Trinity. Hello, nurse. I thought you were sleeping over at the Hemlock's house tonight. Change of plans. What the? Where are we? This is my home. Sweet crib. What? I meant sweet house. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Secure all entrances, nurse! Securing all entrances. Call the police! You heard, Ivy! Calling police. The police are on their way. What about our stuff that we bought? Forget about it for now. You can pick it up in the morning when that psycho's not around. The police are searching our parameters. They found her? No. Dang it, she got away. Who do you think she was? I have no idea, Valkyrie. But I have a feeling that we're going to find out. Please, make yourselves comfortable. You'll have to stay the night to keep safe. Agreed, nurse. Come. Chop chop! Things just get weirder and weirder around here, don't they? Yep. And I have a feeling that it's gonna stay that way. <laughs>